Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video, and today we're going to be reacting to European Political Parties Explained. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, this was not recommended by anybody, well, it might have been, but I took it upon myself to look for this because I've been interested in this for so long. We've reacted to the government of the United Kingdom, and we have, in a couple videos, kind of slipped over the different political ideologies that are, you know, prevalent in the United Kingdom. But I've never reacted to a video strictly concerning this. So here we are. I have no idea really about any of the political parties. I know what a few of them are called, but I don't really know what people in those parties believe. Okay. So yeah, it's. I know it says European political parties, but obviously the UK is in Europe. Europe and um, yeah, he. I. I guess he's gonna explain this. I don't know. This is the best one I found. A lot of them had crappy like to dislike ratios, so I was like. It's probably not accurate information. This one had good. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this is accurate. <laughs> if it's not, then I'm going to look like a complete idiot. But I think it is. So, yeah. Let's get it. If you're new here, hit the like button. Hit subscribe. And, yeah. Let's learn about these. And stay tuned at the end. I'm going to give my opinion. And I'm going to ask a bunch of questions because I know. Anyways, let's go. European parliaments come in many shapes and sizes, and if you're new to the world of politics, you likely don't understand what any of those colors mean. This is extra confusing if you're from a system like the United States, where the political spectrum is pretty clear cut between the party that you agree with and the satanic antichrist of hell that is the other side. <laughs> That's facts. Well, even though every country has their own parties and there's lots and lots of history attached, I'll try my best at generalizing what the seven main political parties in generic European country X might look like. Okay, let's meet the theme. First up is the Workers' Party. It used to be quite radical in its early years, when, as it says in the name, it was founded to represent the poor oppressed workers in the early years of industrialization. But over time, it's turned from street barricade to moderate, making it the dominant force of the center-left. Its main goal uh. is to create a society of solidarity, so it doesn't shy away from redistributing money from the wealthy to the ones in need. But it also likes capitalism and leaves it to do its good thing, so long as normal worker guy here is satisfied. <laughs> On the center-right, we find... So, like... Kinda socialist, but not really. Like, kinda. This is, that right there, I think, what party was that called? The Workers Party, yeah. That's very, I think a lot of Democrats in the United States are kinda like that, you know what I mean? A lot of the not le super far left Democrats, but kinda the moderate Democrats, that's definitely exactly what they're like. The Same thing, party, moderate left. It likes to think of itself as much more careful and rational than the Workers Party, listening to both workers and employers. Although we all know who's got the money, am I right? <laughs> Morally and culturally, it's definitely more conservative, and occasionally has a hard time with change. But while Ooh. it's also quite conservative when it comes to economic questions, it's not strictly opposed to social programs, as its roots are in the benevolent Christian doctrine. The liberals. In North America, the term liberal has become almost synonymous with the left wing of politics, yep. which is not the case in large parts of Europe. See, the original oh. meaning of liberal is just free. Free from taxes, free from the state, free from boundaries. The government should only be as big as it needs to be. Competition is what drives us, and people should only be rewarded for effort and hard work. The Liberal Party said. What? Owning stocks is hard work. <laughs> the Greens are pretty self-explanatory. So the Liberal Party is kind of, kind of similar to conservatives in the United States. So that definitely, if I didn't, if I hadn't watched this and I heard someone say I'm a liberal who's from the UK. I would easily have got that mixed up because liberal in the United States, that means like far left. I'm sorry. Right. For them, fighting climate change is hard work. The Greens. The Greens are pretty self explanatory. For them, fighting climate change is goal numero uno, that means number one, and they've got just the plan on how to do it. Sure, most other parties have also realized that you can't ignore a burning climate forever and decided to roll out their own plans. But the Greens were here first, which means their plan's the best. Or is it? Usually they're also pretty big on LGBTQ plus issues and pacifist in their nature. Hmm, nature. But just like with all the parties <laughs> the mentioned heck? here, there are large differences between all the green parties across the continent, ranging from far-left eco-socialists to moderate right-wing ecologists. So before we finally come to the political fringes, we'll have to talk about conservatism again. As it turns out, the People's Party isn't the only one with a patent on conservatism. Enter the National Conservatives! <laughs> they are here, they are... Here, and they're tough on crime. 
They don't particularly like the EU and love to handle things at home, as it should be, because we're... When talking about the left in Europe, you have to once again consider that there are loads of different interpretations of what they can mean, and some are more radical than others. Like, some still want to brutally overthrow the current system and establish a socialist society once they're in power, while others just say that their brothers over at the Workers' Party don't go far enough with their demands. In any case, they derive their ideology from anti-capitalist thinkers, which means they usually aim for a very big state, equality through redistribution, and often raise their voice the loudest when the poor are getting poorer. It's just, you know, the fringe. <laughs> and lastly, on our yeah, list, it actually sure yeah, that's very accurate. Now, there's nothing. Okay, I, actually, I'm not really gonna say anything about that, but that's funny how he said that. It because people don't really think about that when they're talking about, you know. <laughs> the fringe <laughs> the whole um, it is kind of on the fringe of communism just some of the aspects of it now does that make it inherently bad in my opinion is communism great <laughs> probably not <laughs> but I think looking out for others is definitely good and I think if I think it's all about the intentions I mean if you're if you're trying to help the poor I'm all for that I just think there's solutions that work better than others. And do I know what solution works best? Hell no. <laughs> if I knew what solution worked best, y'all would see me on TV right now. I'd be running for president. Or I'd be president. And lastly well, on our list, gotta be I'm sure you've All already right. heard of them. We have the right-wing populists. Ever since the refugee situation following the war in Syria in 2015, they've been gaining in popularity, catching on not only with concerned voters, but also with people who feel broadly disappointed by the other mainstream parties. They are often being accused of fear-mongering, falsification of history, and emotionalizing issues instead of rationalizing them. However, from their point of view, they are just protecting national interests in a dangerous, progressively globalized world, and that's fine, I guess. So long as the fringe doesn't come to get you. <laughs> and Dude, these fringes, this is so funny. It's so accurate too, though. Um, oh, actually, right now, guys, I'm gonna need everybody right now if you're comfortable with it, I mean, there's no judging here, okay? There's no judging in the comment section. Let's all have very, very civil discussions, but comment what political party in the United Kingdom or wherever you're from, whether you're American, you're whatever, you know what I mean? It could be from another European country, it doesn't matter. What political party you most strongly identify with? Comment that down below. And now I'll be able to, you know, distinguish what that actually means after watching this. So let me know. I'm actually really curious. And there's no judging, you know. We're all humans. It doesn't matter. And that's our team. The basic profiles of our main political players. Now, of course, in real life, they aren't as clear cut as I made them out to be. Yeah. And I could have also touched on regional parties, farmers parties, commies, literal Nazis, religious parties, minority parties, single issue parties, joke parties. Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> single you issue You guys party. have a lot of parties. Cool. But come on, be serious. Aren't they also just one big right wing versus one big left wing? Kinda. Well, no question mark. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. The left-right spectrum is important, and it's a good indicator for a party's economic policies, but it's not the default line of conflict. Like, if there's one thing you gotta understand about multi-party systems, it's this. There are always more than two sides. Every mm. party has their own plan on everything. Be it on environmental protection, abortion, working hours, foreign policy, you name it. And that potentially results in different teams depending on the subject. Oh, that's facts. At the facts. end of the day, they are all competing against one another. So the left-right thing is there and necessary, but it's noticeably less important than in the U.S. Fair, fair, God, fair. God, any more questions? Yeah, a couple actually. Well, too bad. We're all out of time. Thank you so much for <laughs> tuning in. And don't worry, your questions will all be answered in the next video of Animated Politics. Uh, show and uh, be nice in the comments. Love yourself. That's that's our show. Goodbye. I, lo I love how it's an American. Perfect for me to watch. All right, that was it. Um, yeah, so actually that's... I didn't actually think of it that way with the whole multi-party system because obviously I'm in the United States and it's two parties. But when you think about, you know, so we have Democrats and Republicans here, okay? Republicans are the more conservative ones, they're more right-leaning, whereas Democrats are the more left-leaning and more progressive and liberal. They're liberals, as, I, as everyone calls them. So um, when you think about it, it is all on a spectrum because we have the super conservative people and the super liberal people, and then you have kind of the moderate liberal people, they're like... And then the not so modern ones, they they want progressive change, but at the same time, 
they, you know, they're okay with the current system and stuff. Like, they're, it's kind of like they're okay with it as long as it doesn't affect them. You know what I mean? Whereas, and then also in the, in the Republicans, you have the not so conservative ones. They're like right on the verge. And then we also have sing, a lot of single issue voters, people who would just vote f based on one issue that's very important to them, like marijuana. I mean, it's, it's changing a lot. A lot of states are starting to legalize it. But I think in the grand scheme of things, and I've said this before on this channel, but like, it really doesn't matter. People will literally not be friends with someone because of a difference in political ideology. Maybe that's you. And honestly, that's okay. I'm all for everyone should live their life and be happy, do whatever you want. I'm not trying to put my impose my ideas upon anybody. I'm just here stating my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt, you know what I mean? But honestly, I just, unless someone is like spewing hateful stuff, like just hateful stuff and it's, it's just stupid and illogical um, and it's just hurting others, that I can't mess with that. I mean, that's just dumb. But if someone has an opinion that greatly differs from mine, I'm actually going to listen to them and try to see where they're coming from. Because in reality, we're only molded by our environment. I mean, the only reason I think the way I think is because my parents, you know, they uh, all that information they gave me throughout the years, they had... I listened to the news that they were watching, and then someone listened to the news that their parents were watching, and maybe they were two different news sources. Maybe our, their parents thought differently, so they taught them differently, so they, de you know what I mean? It's just like, it's all political socialization. And if you think of it from that way, it's not like you're born Democrat, or you're born Republican, or you're born, you know, <laughs> you're born liberal. <laughs> I've already forgotten the names. You're not born into the Workers' Party, you know, you're socialized into it. Um, so yeah, I just think, I think we'd be, all be a lot better off if we just loved everybody, loved everybody, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's, it's really a simple message, but it's easy to get any, and I'm not going to act like I'm perfect and I follow that. that. I mean, that's something I definitely believe in, but it's not like I'm not perfect with that. I get angry at people. Uh, there's tons of animosity towards people with differing opinions. I mean, that's human nature is to argue and to have conflict. That's where growth comes from. So, yeah, I just, you know what I mean? I think we can all, that's something I definitely should strive for. And I think we all should too. But yeah, comment down below what you guys' political parties are. I, I would say what my political party is, but I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't really believe in everything on both. I'm kind of, you know what I mean? In terms of the United States, I don't know. I just, I'm just independent, I guess. I'm me. I'm JPS. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm not just saying that. Like, if I actually believed in one, I would tell you. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry about the long rant. Um, comment your thing down below. I'll be reading through all these comments. I'm curious to see what you guys say. Um, and yeah, I'm going to catch you guys next time. Love one another. Love yourself. Peace.